basically a three hundred thousand dollar annual uh, warrant article we see every year to deal with maintenance for the uh, school buildings under the control of SAU nine. Correct. Correct. Okay. <coughs> Do you wish to say anything on this, Nathan? Uh, I, I guess I would just ask you what in there's a an update on on the most recent multi year. Long-term warrant article, long-term maintenance warrant articles. It's in your packet, the back. Um, the the focus has been in the last three years. Uh, the article has pertained only to Marston and Center schools because they were working on a capital project for Hampton Academy. The biggest chunk of the three hundred thousand each year has been focused on repairs and replacement to uh, the roofs at Marston School. Uh, and so we started with the third grade wings, if you're familiar with that, the, um, uh, and, the, and the front area. And the second uh, cycle, we did the, the entire kitchen, uh, cafeteria area, and we replaced the roof over uh, the library. And we're looking now to continue down the rest of the first floor 1975 edition and replace those original roofs. Somewhere in the future, Keith will tell me that we're talking about the second story, the two-story edition that came up in 96. Um, but every year we do uh, infrared scans and, and repairs to patch to try to continue to prolong the life or extend the life of those roofs. So that's been the, the sig most significant purchase over the last three cycles. Thank you, Jay. Nathan. Uh, questions, Mrs. Walburn? I remember when this article was uh, started, for several years we've been proponents of it. I was not on the budget committee last year, but I was a little perplexed. Um, when we put in the sum of 300000 meaning the school boards back then and the voters have voted overwhelmingly, it was all for all three schools. Right. Here's the issue I have, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it brief because I'm going to have much more to say on the budget. Three years ago, you put very little money in the academy. You had gross toilets, you had things hanging out, everything else, hoping that additional gets passed, made tours and, and under maintenance. And my question is, why wasn't money used for that part even back then? I have a concern about that. The other concern I have is, it was never in the intention of, it's, you spell out each school what you're doing, and I appreciate that. But you're down to two schools on th what you're putting down here, and especially with a new school addition, I can't imagine the maintenance, certainly in the early years, is going to be much. But So I'm wondering why that number hasn't decreased, and you can answer that in a second. My other concern is, under imp in implement security improvements, $10,000, uh, implement security improvements, $10,000 um, phased. So it, does this mean that these security improvements have not been done yet? Yes. That means in, they have in these, not. In these two buildings, we're working on them now. And so is 10,000 the number that is going to be finale, a finality, or is this going to be 10,000 every year for security improvements? And, and the reason I ask these, it's going to come up later when we talk about school resource officer, because I think you need one first for the other. So that's my question. Where, where is, I never seen something so magical, 10,000. We're going to just do 10,000 on each school. What, what is that? <coughs> You don't have to go into detail, and I understand all that. Oh, confidence. no, no, that's fine. I mean, it's a great question. I mean, we've, we've, secured, we've secured grants from the state, and we're doing major work. Mm -hmm. And the challenge is there's really, how do I, I guess part of what I want to say is I, I expect that this is the end of, I would like to think that this is the end of security improvements. The reality is that this emotional appeal that has been created very naturally and reasonably by, acti uh, by things that have happened ter uh, horrible things that have happened all over the country continue to drive uh, a never-ending appetite for more and more security improvement and advancement and growth. So right now, right now we're looking at, and I can list off just a couple if you'd like, we're looking at room hardening, we're looking at, uh, by that I mean that a perpetrator or somebody, a, a, an unexpected, uh, you know, uninvited um, uh, individual would not, would, would be confronted by reinforced doors, reinforced hard door hardware, um, and, and other, other tools that would keep them out of classrooms so that they continue to move down, to, move down the hallways and not find anybody. Um, we are talking about 
security uh, on accessing the building, so card access, um, uh, visitor, um, visitor, um, what do you want to call it? It's called uh, uh, visitor uh, registration, uh, and 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 all visitors with their ID being compared against uh, a centralized database. Tools like this that help us to secure the building. You know, our lobbies, our transaction windows being reinforced, not only the glass but the walls uh, to protect against uh, perpetrators. Things that I never imagined we'd do in schools, but we're working on we're working on all of that right now. But but you answered, and I'm kind of glad you did because it's really going to lead me into that great in additional school resource officer. We have not finished the part that needs to be done first. Is that what I'm hearing? The, you? the facility improvements are not finished yet. No. Okay. The only other question I have on this section is, and I. I see replace roof over 1975 edition. Um, did, did this come out of nowhere? I mean, I remember we did the master school upgrades and what was it, uh, Mike, 1996? You put the edition on in 96, yeah. Yeah. Um, is there a reason why the roof's being done all, like that whole number right now? Why was, was it done last year? I mean, 1975, that's 44 years. I'm just curious. I, you yeah. had that fun for, we've had that fun for 25 years. So I'm saying if that's a priority, right? If my roof goes, I'm going to get that done, right? So why is it all this year? Well, it's, it's not, we, we use the money right now. We had a comparable number in last year's 300. Right. And we haven't spent it because we're going to put it with this one so that we can finish the 75 this year. And I'm going to ask one more question to my friend. To, uh, I'm going to ask using my good friends that are right, Mr. Uh, Zanoy's. Uh, because he sold drills, drills down. If you're looking at 300,000 now here, and you've got nothing for the academy, are we are we now saying here we go again? So in years to come, what is that? Are we starting to think about the number that is going to be needed for that? I mean, these are things that should be discussed because seeing these two picked out, it, it uh, you know. So I'll end by saying this. Uh, in my own mind, my $300,000 that I have approved and I voted for has to do with me with all three facilities. And now that we're doing two, I don't know why that number stays at 300, but go ahead, Jim. Yeah, I, I could, Jerry. Yeah, I, mean, I agree with Brian to a degree. It almost looks like 300,000 is obligatory at the year. Right. <laughs> we went from three facility to two, and you know, 300K is, it seems to be obligatory. But last year's warrant article re replaced the roof over the 1975 edition of Marson was 210,000. Right. And this year it's 217. Will right. that take care of the roof? That'll finish the 75 yeah. wing, and we'll do it this summer with those two those that two will. dollars combined. Yeah. That's a heavy lot, lot of money. But that still leaves, and again, yeah. that leaves the 96 wing, which is a two-story edition. That uh, I don't I don't think that that's coming next year. I don't. Keith hasn't suggested that that's in the offing. Um, I don't know what again, he's continued to repair that and maintain it, so we're hoping that that'll go a while. I honestly, off the top, I don't know when the 75 edition was most recently roofed. Okay, the, sec the, the, the only the, so the obligatory part of it bothers me, as it does Brian. But here's another thing: we got a, a grant from the state of $832,000 right. in January, February, March timeframe. We had to kick in 20%. That left us 665. Why? Why do we have to pay for any security improvements phase? Why can't we use parts of that grant to take care of what so, you need in Marston or Center? So the last couple of years have been the local match to that. We're using that. We were doing small. So we were biting off. The intent was before the state <coughs> came out of the blue with their security dollars. We were biting off small pieces of the security that we could do at each building. Yep. And so we had those dollars in there. We've made improvements, I mean, without being too specific, because you are, we've made improvements to digital cameras uh, for surveillance uh, around with, the- With the 665? Uh, no, we were already working on that. So what are we doing with the 665? So all, all of the things that I was just talking about are being done with that grant. So we were taking small bites we were taking small bites at- To pay for it ourselves. To, to pay for it. Yeah. Now those dollars that you're looking at are still being used for the, but for the bigger list of projects that we can now do well, with state grant, but it's we, the 20%. Why can't we pay for this uh, 10 and 10 with that? Right. I guess I would, here, uh, here's how I'll answer it. Um, for the same reason that 
we have 5,000 for roof repairs and 5,000 for ADA. Every time that I sit with Mr. Lassard and we compile this, his desire to be transparent suggests that we, we every year tackle this. Last year we had to do $4,900 worth of ADA upgrades. Every year he sees these small projects that, that he ends up using some of these dollars for and in an attempt to be transparent he has included them. Knowing that security is big and knowing that we're tackling this project with a grant, the 10,000 was intended to be the last element of our 20% local match in order to complete those projects. Okay, anything else? No, I, 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 don't, more. I, don't, you know, I don't see that as being a local match. Right. It's not, that's not what it's called out. Mr. You, want the, you want the taxpayer to pay 10 and 10 out of their own taxpayer pockets. And when we got a 665 coming in from the state. But remember, you have, to, out of the, the, you have to pay the difference between the 832 mm -hmm. and the 665. We pay 166. Yeah. Right, and this is the and this is the end of it. We're using the dollars that we were using to do small security projects. We're now using to leverage the six hundred and sixty-six thousand. So you, the ten thousand isn't going to go. It's going to leverage the. Uh, it's going to be the twenty percent. It's the, part of the twenty percent, as is last year's money. Says. No. No. I'll uh, yield today, Mr. No. Moore. I'm going to go back to some of what Brian was asking. <coughs> And you gave some very generic statements in response to it, all valid points, I know. But it was talking about we, we want to secure the rooms, and then you use other examples. My first question is, <clears throat> do you have a major list? Because what are, are they, how far, how many rooms have you secured? <coughs> Might be a question, because I know it's in my mind, for both schools. So one of the things at a more middle, middle level, not detail level, would be, how many of these things do you have on your checklist? One, five, ten. You must have, we're going to do this, 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 and this. They do. And on doing that, do you have a number that your what percentage is done? Hopefully, majority or 100%. Do you have such a list? We do have a list. The grants were, we had to make a very specific application to the state for to secure those dollars. So we've identified all of those that we're doing. How, how much are we into them? In those two done? schools, we're not into them. Pardon me. We had done we had done some work <coughs> before, I like I mentioned the digital cameras. But the rest of the work we're in design right now. We were not able to do. We had other projects. We had another big project going on this summer, so we didn't tackle it this summer. So most of that work will be done this spring and this summer. So those things of in, in pure sec security improvements, for example, that's just kind of a lump thing. One of my questions was is is if you're talking security, and I, I'm also I'm aware that you can have people do security like police officers and all that sort of stuff. But one of the concerns I'm about I, I would be on your front door, if I went to your front door, I know hopefully I can't get in. That's right. Correct? Correct. And I'd have to have a registration, correct? Is well, it bulletproof? The door's locked. Is it bulletproof? That I don't know. So that, <laughs> is it bulletproof? <laughs> I, I, would, uh, I would respectfully suggest some that items we some can't of the, talk some about. Of the, Hold on, yeah. Frank. You do not have the floor. Let me just say so, some of the security shortcomings, plans for improvement that we have, we could in a non-public session talk about it, but I, I'd rather not say here are the five places you can most successfully penetrate and get at kids when you have to school, right? So yeah, but where I'm going to, I'm not trying to get into secret. No, I know you're not. I'm just saying bad it's guy's information, but right. I think at least because I'm thinking before we have other things, I would hopefully that every door and every school and all through the country in today's world would have a bulletproof glass. And let me finish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And all accesses. So there wasn't any weak points. So if people heard about it, the second thing I might ask is another question, was, and it sounds kind of stupid, but with today's world going on and what they're doing, is it bombproof? And I would hope that the front access doors would be bombproof because you get some crazy guy like you have in the Orient, and, and they put a bomb vest on, they'll just blow the door open. David, there is a great inquiry, but I will point out that it is generally bad practice to disclose uh, particulars <coughs> regarding security uh, in a public forum of any kind. Okay, that's fine. Um, if you really need answers to these questions, we'd have to go into a non-public to get them. All right. So you'll need to let me know that you really need these answers. I do. All right, so then we need to consider going into a non-public over this. No, I, How does the body feel about going to non-public to discuss in more detail the security issues? Not comfortable. Anybody else want to comment on I'm that? I'm not comfortable with that. I'm getting either. a sense the body does not wish to do so, David. Thank you. Can we move on to another area of questioning? 
David? Yes. Go ahead, you're going to say something. I was going to say, well, I, I guess, if, I'm, if I may, and I won't be long, but let me just briefly say, I stood with the glass guy, and he took measurements all around the entrance and the vestibule and the whole thing, talking about spending tens, even hundreds of thousands of dollars on that space being impenetrable to bullets. And the whole time I stood there shaking my head because not 12 feet to the left is a window to the secretary that starts only three and a half feet off the ground. Why would I bulletproof every door when every classroom has been designed with glass and if I'm not going to make all of them bulletproof, Nathan. what have I really done? Nathan. Except as soon Nathan. as I make Nathan. them all, if I make Nathan. Them. May I suggest to you that you are now disclosing security details that you earlier objected to. And I agree with that objection, and I would encourage you to be cautious about what you're saying in, in schools, public. In schools throughout the state, and certainly in warmer climates, as soon as you make every window bulletproof, you can't open them. So now you need air handling and air conditioning in every school. The dollars from the state and all of the state's money can't do all of the security improvements that I'd like to see, especially around my kids and your kids. So we have to make decisions and pick and choose. I'd invite you to come visit and we can walk through and we can talk about it and, and look at some of the things that we're doing. It's, it's difficult. So when the question is, is this it? Are you done? No. I certainly expect in the next decade we'll have concertina wire and, and you know what I mean. Like I don't, I never, I don't know when it's going to end. I never thought we'd be doing this stuff now. So, got it. Okay. Thank you, Nathan. Mr. Moore, do you have anything else? Thank you, Nathan. I appreciate it. Sir. Okay. Does anyone else have I any questions, it, Mr. Walbert? Um, <laughs> I go back to the information again, and Jerry Zanoy is absolutely correct, and and I don't think I got an answer on it. The 665, and I just wrote down a comment you made that we have used that money to do small projects, whatever. That's the point I'm making. Yeah. We get all this grant money in, but nobody seems to know where it goes. Let's just let's just fill the. Okay, so let me finish. I want to see the information, and here's the other key component. There is no reason in this day and age when we're getting all and and you both pride yourselves on the grant monies you get. Why are we asking the taxpayers for 10 and 10 and, instead of taking it out of the grant money? So, so I have a grant for, I have a grant for uh, 200 and, I'm not looking at 275,000 for yeah. one building. It was three buildings. 20% of that has to be raised locally. Right. So if you look at the dollars that we have set aside in the 300 from 17, 18, 17's vote, 18's vote, and now this 10,000, those three add up to sufficient to secure our 20% so that we can do all of the work that that security. We were going to do this much of the work, and now we get to do this much security work. We're just leveraging those dollars in that way. But, but you see the difference. Here's the difference. If a taxpayer looked at this and you were requesting $51,432, whatever, it just doesn't seem right. With all the money that's coming in, it's equal on both schools. Why didn't we include that in? We, we hear about all these meetings and what we're going to do with the project. Why don't you include it so that we don't come back to the taxpayers and ask them for improvement and security improvements when you've sat there and said basically, and I'm one of those taxpayers, who felt we don't, we're not going to be asked to do anything. I mean, <coughs> I, I don't get it. You get all the grant money, but you're still asking the taxpayers for $20,000. The grant, the grant was predicated on a 20% local. I understand that. We went through that with Jerry and I. Well, let me let me let me try to bring some clarity because I'm getting confused over it. We're Me too. repeating ourselves or whatever, but um, you say we have a 20 percent uh, matching to a grant, and that 20 percent is 160 thousand dollars. 166,400 across the three buildings. Yes, yeah, right. 60. I, I'm plus. not doing the math, but yeah, it's it's 166,400. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and you're saying that this 10 thousand dollars plugged in here is going to contribute to having all of that 20% match available as a consequence of adding that up to prior year's security um, appropriations, correct? Yes. Okay. So I'm looking at previous years. Okay. And in 2017, you had um, $15,000? Yes. 
in each building. And in 1820? Well, it's just 15,000 and it has a space next to it and it's 40,000, I assume that's total. Um, and then, and that expires uh, in six months. Yes. Yeah. So it's still available for six more months. Yeah. Um, last year, you you had twenty thousand on each school for another forty thousand dollars. Right. And in twenty sixteen, you had uh, two times twenty five for fifty thousand dollars. But that money expired six months ago. Right. <coughs> So, if we just look at what has not expired, we've got forty, forty-five thousand dollars from twenty seventeen, and forty thousand from last year. Right. Right, that's eighty, eighty-five thousand dollars. I also get to claim work that we've done within the project on security measures at Hampton Academy, so that we can leverage it. Okay, so. All of the security measures that are being done as a result of the rehab at Hampton Academy help us to bring down some additional dollars so that we are able to do more security is work that, across the district. Is is uh, the status of Hampton Academy security uh, apparently is going to be greater at least at the moment, greater than the security at the other two schools? And you're bringing the other two schools up to what is now the standard of Hampton Academy. Is that one? Is that what I'm sensing here? Is that right? We we certainly are put, we're putting in all of the security measures that the design um, could could reasonably identify right. Right, for Hampton Academy. So there are no no need for additional security at all for 2019 slash 2020 for Hampton Academy. Is that right. fair? Right. Yes. Okay. So we're only talking about security dollars being spent on the Center School and the Marsden School. Those projects should happen this spring. So and the six hundred thousand plus that you're getting via the grant, plus the one hundred and sixty plus of matching for eight hundred change, all of that's going to go to two schools, Marsden and Center. Is that correct? The applications were there were three applications, and they identified things being done at all three schools, including some of the work that we did at Hampton Academy. But the thing is that we're doing things. Things you're doing at Hampton Academy are already part of the remodel, correct? As part of that there are, 20%. There are elements of the, the project did not include digital cameras. The project did not include a visitor badging so system. So I guess the answer is no. So no, I guess the answer you're, is you're, no. You're we, doing more. We're doing more doing, than, than the project itself. You're doing correct. more security enhancements to uh, the Hampton Academy, whose remodeling project is not yet done. Correct. Correct. It's over and above the 26 million. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And I just have a, one other question that's not security related. I'm sure we're all happy about that. The, uh, the roof, I know you've been doing a multi-year phase effort on the roof. And this year, I think you actually increased it to, you know, a tad from 210 to 217 or something like that. Yeah. Where's the light at the end of the tunnel? Are we ever get done with this roof? <laughs> This is it for the Marston 75 edition. Everywhere, all everything back to not, not no, the whole Marston school roof is done, right? After no, this year, the the two story, yeah. the 96 edition in the back, the two story has not will not have been done. So the answer is still no. We have so another that, year, or or maybe two, to in order to complete the mm -hmm. Marston roof. I, I don't I don't know when I don't know when that will off the top. I don't have that. I don't know when that will need to be done. I don't expect it's in the next two or three years. No. Okay, so we will be will be done we'll be with done this for now with roofing. This incarnation of roof repair will be done with this article if you get this money. Is that what I'm hearing? Okay, I've been very patient on this. As you know, years ago, I said saying it's magical three hundred thousand every year. It's very suspicious, and I've held back on my suspicion because it was fairly well explained about the roof repairs, et cetera, et cetera. I am still got some rather small concerns in this area. But uh, generally speaking, this year I'm comfortable, but next year I would have a different attitude because the roof should be done and this number should come down by something like two thirds. That would be my expectation. So, uh, based on what I'm hearing tonight. So, uh, anyway, that's my inclinations. Mr. Frank, you wanted the floor? No. Okay. I'm glad I could represent your point of view. <laughs> Anybody else? I can, I can assure Jerry. Dave that 
they do, uh, Madam Superintendent, Nate, have a dear, very comprehensive plan list, Excel spreadsheet, so to speak, as to what items need to be done from a security point of view for each building. They've done mm -hmm. that in conjunction with local police, local uh, law enforcement people, FBI, whoever, specialists in this particular area. What we don't have here is a reconciliation of all of those items, right. what's been spent, what's left to be spent, right. that kind of stuff. And we're not going to get it unless we do it in non-public. Yes. I you're not gonna, he doesn't have it tonight, I don't believe. I do have a generic question. Well, you don't have the floor. I'm done. You're done? Okay, now you have the floor. Is there, a, within the state of New Hampshire, are there any guidelines or minimums that are required by the state? Or, or is every town on their own, such as Portsmouth and Hampton, whatever? Uh, the answer to that is there are requirements for the state of New Hampshire. All three of our buildings were evaluated by Homeland Security. They came down. Sure. They spent a full day in each of our buildings walking through identifying all of the areas that we should consider relative to the safety of our buildings. In addition to that, two years prior to that, um, the, the school board um, uh, hired a group, a private group, and they spent three days on our site providing us with additional information on top of that. So we have a very comprehensive plan of what we need to do to complete all of the securities. And those were recommended by the by the private group as well as uh, Homeland Security. So we, we have a really good handle on it. Many, some of the items that they recommended didn't cost us anything. It was simply a mess, uh, um, uh, methods of training, uh, methods of helping our teachers understand what to do during a, 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 a serious incident. So there were items that we were able to check off. There were other items that, um, that we anticipate that we would wait because they were pricey and because we were <coughs> anticipating some work being done at Hampton Academy. Okay. Anything else? Are we okay to vote on this now? I'm, I'm hearing yes. I'm hearing yes. So uh, all those in favor of recommending uh, one Article 3, the $300,000 for repairs, please raise your hand. Frank, uh, Mr. Plough, Ms. Barnes, and Jones. All those opposed? Mr. Warburton, Mr. Mora, and those abstaining? I'm abstaining. Mr. Sonoy. I, I'm bothered by the... So I believe that's like four, three, one. Are we agreement on that, Tally? Four, two, one. Four, two, one. Four, two, one. Four, two, one. Four, two, one.